हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू अफेयर्स क्लाउड माय नेम इज विकास सो फ्रेंड्स वी हैव एन एप्लीकेशन बाय द नेम कैरियर्स क्लाउड विच यू कैन गो एंड डाउनलोड थ्रू द प्ले स्टोर एंड वंस यू हैव डाउनलोडेड यू कैन लॉग इन विद योर जीमेल आईडी एंड व्हाई आई एम सजेस्टिंग यू दिस एप्लीकेशन बिकॉज दिस इज द वन स्टॉप सोल्यूशन फॉर ऑल द करंट अफेयर दिस इज द बेस्ट ऑफ द बेस्ट एप्लीकेशन एंड द प्लेटफॉर्म वेर यू कैन एनहेंस योर लर्निंग थ्रू हेल्प here you will be provided with multiple courses here you will be provided with multiple options of quizzes and even you here you will be provided current affairs on daily basis pdfs and quizzes will be provided to you on daily basis both in hindi as well as english here you will be provided current affairs with weekly basis and monthly basis also here remember once you have done watching our video then you can log in through this application take out the pdf read that pdf and go through the quizzes that will enhance your preparation same you have to do for weekly and same you have to do for the monthly also in monthly you will be provided with the top 100 important questions pdf and video also that will enhance your learning and it will be a very benefit and beneficial and important video for the revision perspective and not just this friends apart from this we also provide you banking and economic questions we provide you state current affairs such as of uttarakhand up tripura telangana and many more not just this apart from this we also provide you topic wise current affairs and the topics that we are providing you are really important these topics are such as national affairs international affairs important days sports defense science and technology apps and web portals obviously these are the important topics that are being asked in various exams across india so these are the topics that are must and should be covered and will be beneficial for the preparation of the students hello everyone so in this video we will be discussing important current affairs of 21st of july the session will be very important and interesting so do pay attention till the end you will be learning multiple things that will be benefiting in your preparation so let's start first is nitie will be converted into which institute so recently remember union cabinet chaired by prime minister narendra modi has approved a bill amending the iim act right this will include national institute of industrial training or industrial engineering that is nitie nitie that is national institute of industrial engineering correct this is in mumbai and this will be now converted into the 21st iim correct the amendment will rename nitie mumbai as iim mumbai correct so important nitie that is in mumbai will be converted into iim mumbai maharashtra is set to become the first state to have two iims now the question can also be asked in this way which is the state in india that will have two iims it is mumbai that is your iim nagpur correct it was established in 2015 and now iim mumbai that is nitie that will be converted into iim mumbai this approved bill is to be passed in the monsoon session of the parliament that will take place from 20th of july till 11th of august nitie This was established in 1963 with support of the United Nation Development Program and ILO to create skilled professionals. Correct. Moving on, here you can see Union Cabinet has approved Mumbai-based NITIE as the 21st IIM of India. Right. And here, remember, Maharashtra it will become the first state. to have two iims which will include iim nagpur that was established by government in 2015 and newly designated iim mumbai this is the second and this is the first then this approved bill will be passed in monsoon session and nitie mumbai it was established in 1963 and it was from the support of undp and ilo next next question is which state government signed an mou that is memorandum of understanding and this was signed with one web to set up india's first private satellite network portal if we talk about this one web remember this is a uk based satellite communication company correct and they have launched multiple satellites into the atmosphere 
in a not just atmosphere into space and it is similar to that of starlink that is of elon musk correct so this one by what is this doing is that is providing internet connection in the remote areas with the help of those satellites that are in space right so coming back remember if we are talking about it it was with state government that signed a memorandum of understanding with one web to set up india's first private satellite portal site right satellite network portal site which is it it is your gujarat government right important what is the aim here it is to provide affordable internet access to villages various district panchayats local administrative bodies government departments etc right throughout india this mou was signed by vijay nehra who is the secretary of the state department of science and technology and vijay vats who is the director of one web india communication private limited here one web will establish one of the two private satellite network portal sites in two villages in jutana taluka of mehsana district of gujarat right and the village network portal in katosan and tejpur correct that is in gujarat is scheduled to be launched in 2023 with an estimated cost of around 100 crore rupees here the satellite network portal site this will be located in jotona taluka of mehsana district will provide high speed low latency and affordable connectivity see when there is low latency means the internet speed is high and if there is high latency that means internet speed is low remember this thing also correct so coming back one web this is a uk based uh, satellite or uk based communication satellite company that has launched multiple satellites into the space so similar to that of starlink and they are aiming at providing satellite internet in the remote areas even in the villages of gujarat right that is in the jotana taluka of mehsana district of gujarat correct and remember these satellites of these one webs they are put into leo that is low earth orbit right and 648 satellites are there and they are aiming to build a communication network a global communication network this type of technology is already operational in europe and canada right next here you can see it is gujarat government that signed an mou with one web to set up india's first private satellite network portal site right and they signed an mou with one web that is gujarat government also remember this will be india's first private satellite network portal site that will be in gujarat next nabard's 42nd foundation day is observed when nabard's 42nd foundation day is observed on 12th of july right and amit shah who is our union minister and minister of cooperation was the chief guest during the launch at pragati maidan in new delhi so who was the chief guest amit shah right and he was the chief guest for the 42nd foundation day of nabard the nabard was marked by a series of event or this day was marked by a series of event throughout the country that included the theme that you need to remember what is the theme nabard 42 years of rural transformation right i repeat nabard 42 years of rural transformation next remember amit shah distributed micro automated teller machine that is and rupee kisan card to the dairy farmers of society of banakstha and panchmahal district of gujarat cooperative societies then apart from this if we talk about this uh, nabard nabard has launched a credit delivery mechanism similar to that of kcc that is kisan credit card that is a joint liability group for and this is for joint liability group self help groups banking correspondence etc through this capital formation of nabard an amount of 8 lakh crore rupees has been provided to the rural economy correct so coming back nabard it was the 42nd foundation day of nabard it was on 12th of july and nabard has almost 7000 fpos that is farmer producer organizations that ensures farmers to get remunerative prices for their produce correct and who was the chief guest here amit shah was the chief guest here and what did he distribute uh, micro atm and rupee 
किसान क्रेडिट कार्ड टू द डिलीवरी ऑफ फार्मर्स ऑफ मिल्क सोसाइटीज करेक्ट फॉर द डेरी फार्मर्स ऑफ द मिल्क सोसाइटीज मूविंग ऑन दिस वॉज अबाउट योर नाबार्ड राइट इफ वी टॉक अबाउट हु इज द चेयरमैन ऑफ नाबार्ड के वी शाहजी इज द करंट चेयरमैन ऑफ नाबार्ड एंड वेन वॉज द नाबार्ड इस्टेब्लिश इट वॉज इन ट्वेल्थ ऑफ जुलाई नाइनटीन एटी टू द नाबार्ड वॉज इस्टेब्लिश एंड वॉट वॉज द थीम फॉर द फोर्टी सेकेंड फाउंडेशन डे ऑफ नाबार्ड इट इज नाबार्ड फोर्टी टू ईयर्स ऑफ रूरल ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन नेक्स्ट here you can see nabard's 42nd foundation day on 12th of july and amit shah who is our home minister was the chief guest during the event that was held at pragati maidan next who inaugurated hindustan aeronautics limited regional office in kuala lumpur malaysia so remember this regional office of uh, hindustan aeronautics limited was inaugurated by and this is very important because we will be learning multiple things from this question first of all remember rajnath singh right he inaugurated this regional office of hall where in kuala lumpur malaysia right now next thing you need to remember here is our defense minister rajnath singh he was on a 3 day visit to malaysia right it was from 9 to 11th of july this was with a focus of developing various strategies various various partnership between india and malaysia correct then some of the important points that you need to remember here is that during his 3 day visit he discussed for the road map for the fourth decade fourth decade of india malaysia defense cooperation with the malaysian counterpart then remember during this only he inaugurated hall regional office in kuala lumpur malaysia next important thing remember he also unveiled and this is also important he unveiled the statue of netaji subhash chandra bose in malaysia so question can be asked where is the statue of netaji subhash chandra or in which country the statue of netaji subhash chandra bose was recently inaugurated by rajnath singh it was in malaysia right in kuala lumpur malaysia correct important take a note of it right if we talk about malaysia the capital is kuala lumpur right so this hal regional office in kuala lumpur malaysia and here only a statue of netaji subhash chandra bose was inaugurated or unveiled by rajnath singh correct next which program backed the scotch award under the theme state of governance india 2047 in gold category that is your jammu and kashmir RLM what is this RLM stands for that is Jammu and Kashmir Jammu and Kashmir National Rural Livelihood Mission right Jammu and Kashmir Rural Livelihood Mission recently backed the scotch award under the theme state of governance in India 2047 right why 2047 because we want to achieve on this 100 years of independence will be completed and the target of India is to become developed nation by 2047 because as of now currently we are a developing nation but we aims to become a developed nation by then correct and they received this in the gold category in district governance for their outstanding efforts in creating market avenues for self help groups in the union territory of jammu and kashmir right this recognition is for the hard work and dedication of this scheme for empowering women and promoting entrepreneurship in the rural areas and creating marketing opportunities for the district level to national level platforms right next here you can see it is jammu and kashmir rural livelihood mission that has backed the scotch award under the state governance of india 2047 in the gold category right next who won the uk pms point of light award and this is important uk pms point of light award it was won by whom moksha roy right she is a 7 year old indian origin girl right and she is currently residing in uk right now and she was awarded with uk's prime minister point of light award as a sustainability champion for volunteering 
for various several sustainable initiatives that includes raising funds for children in need for the unicef correct so she is moksha roy as you can see her in the picture here she is a 7 year old girl she is an indian origin girl and she has been awarded with the uk prime minister's point of flight award for the sustainability champion for volunteering for various sustainable initiatives also remember she has been the world's youngest sustainability champion who started advocating for the united nation sustainable development goals initiative at the age of 3 years of age right then apart from this she attempted to educate over or she is attempting to educate over 1 billion children and their families about microplastic pollution and how to prevent it by her work right apart from this she has also assisted in various educational sessions for deprived school children in india and has also provided messages at various events including the conference of parties 27 correct moving on here you can see moksha roy she is 7 years of old indian origin women currently living in uk next is who has been appointed as the 25th director general of indian coast guard of icg i repeat 25th director general of icg who he will be he will be rakesh pal director general rakesh pal has been appointed as the 25th director general of icg right he holds the recognition of being the first gunner first gunner of indian coast guard he was given the additional charge of the director general of indian coast guard in the month of feb 2023 then he was elevated to the rank of the additional director general in february 2022 apart from this if i ask you he will be replacing whom or the 24th director general of indian coast guard who he will be virender singh pathania ji correct he was the 24th director general of indian coast guard If we talk about Rakesh Pal, he is from Uttar Pradesh, right? And an alumnus of the Indian Naval Academy, and has joined the Coast Guard, Indian Coast Guard, in the month of January in 1989, right? Here you can see in the picture, he has over 34 years of career, right? And apart from this, remember he has also commanded various ICGs such as your Indian Coast Guard ships, Smurth. Vijit, Sucheta Kiplani, and INS C zero three. Correct. So coming back, remember, Director General Rakesh Pal has been appointed as the twenty fifth Director General of Indian Coast. Next is International Chess Day. When do we observe this? International Chess Day is observed on twentieth of July, and it is to create about the awareness of chess that how good of a game is. how beneficial this game is as you don't have to spend a lot of money for playing this game as well as it helps to develop the iq overall iq of an individual correct so this international chess day is observed on 20th of july then remember if we talk about international chess federation this was established in 1924 and this year it is the 99th anniversary of the international chess federation but if i ask you when was the first time when un recognized world chess day it was uh, observed your world chess day for the first time on 20th of july in 2020 so the first ever edition was in 2020 correct then remember why 2020 because in 1924 it was 20th of july in 1924 when international chess day or this international chess federation was formed in paris france correct next next is international moon day when do we observe international moon day international moon day is annually celebrated on 20th of july right and it is to celebrate the first landing by humans on moon correct as a part of apollo 11 mission apollo 11 lunar mission right to celebrate that the first landing of humans on moon on 20th of july international moon day is observed correct and the day aims to raise public awareness about the sustainable moon exploration and utilization the first ever edition of this international moon day was observed on 20th of july 2022 correct 
and IMD 2023 celebrated on 20th of July 2023 and it marks the 54th anniversary of this Apollo 11 lunar mission. Correct? So this is your International Moon Day that is observed on 20th of July and it marks the landing of the first human on the moon and that was through the Apollo 11 lunar mission. Correct? Then remember Moon Village Association. Let me tell you about a Moon Village Association. What is this? This was launched in association with Vienna, Australia. Right? It is an NGO that was founded in 2017 and it is to create awareness or serve as a permanent informal global forum for government, academia, industry and general public who are in the interested in the development of the Moon Village. Correct? So this is your International Moon Day observed on 20th of July. Next is who launched Gramin Awas Nyay Yojana. See, first of all, remember this scheme was launched by Chhattisgarh's Chief Minister Bhupesh Baghel. If the name of the state is asked, then it is Chhattisgarh. Correct? Their Chief Minister Bhupesh Baghel has launched this Gramin Awas Nyay Yojana. What is the aim here? It is to build houses for the rural population. And this scheme is funded by the state government of Chhattisgarh. Correct? Next thing, remember, 100 crore rupees has been allocated in the budget for this scheme. Right, and this scheme is basically the outcome of the survey that was conducted by Panchayat and Rural Development Department under the government of Odisha. Right, and this will help families which are encountering challenges in obtaining houses approval due to the eligibility criteria under the Pradhan Mantri Awas Yojana. Here, the beneficiaries under this Gramin Awas Nyay Yojana is almost 8 lakh people. Correct, do take a note of this. Then, Next is, see, before moving on, let discuss some more current affairs, right? Karnataka. Karnataka has launched Gruha Lakshmi Scheme, right? Gruha Lakshmi Scheme was launched by Karnataka state and it is to support women supporting households, right? I repeat, to help or support the women supporting households. For them, Karnataka has launched this Gruha Lakshmi scheme and it is to provide 2,000 rupees monthly assistant to the women, hod, women head of the household. Correct? This is the scheme. Apart from this, if I ask you, what is the name of the environment sustainability project that was launched by PNB? It is Project PNB Palash. Right? This is the name of the Environment Sustainability Project that was launched by Punjab National Bank and it is a 8 month campaign to promote sustainability that is aimed at reducing cost and enhancing the operational efficiencies. One more thing to remember, HDFC, right? HDFC became, uh, bank has crossed a valuation of $100 billion and it has become the 7th largest or 7th world largest bank. Right, and apart from this, BSC, NSC, and SEBI, right, they have allowed micro cap stocks under the ESM to trade on all days. Correct, apart from this, RBI, they have cancelled the license of United India Cooperative Bank. Which state has stopped Niti Aayog's Export Preparedness Index 2020? So remember, recently it was Niti Aayog that has released this Export Preparedness Index and this is for the year 2022, correct? And this is the third edition of this index that was released by Tamil Nadu and the state that has stopped here is Tamil Nadu, correct? Tamil Nadu had a score of 89.89, right? And on first position it was Tamil Nadu, then it is your Maharashtra with a score of 78.20 and on third was your Karnataka with 73.22 score. Correct? And let's see fourth also. That is Gujarat. Correct? And the score here was 73.22. Correct? For Gujarat, for Karnataka, the score was 76.36. Right? So we can say that it was Tamil Nadu that has stopped the Niti Aayog's Export Preparedness Index for 2022. This report was released by which organization? This report was released by Suman K. Berry, who is the vice chairman of Niti Aayog 
and this report was released on 17th of July 23 correct then the next question can be asked is that this report was prepared by as we see it was released by Niti Aayog and it was in association with IFC that is Institute for Competitiveness right who is the CEO of Niti Aayog BVR Subramanyam and headquarters is in New Delhi which organization released TCRM matrix framework to drive innovation and entrepreneurship see in order to grow any particular sector right there should be research and development done correct and we are seeing that with the launch of this digitization we are seeing that first it was c language if you are a if you have any knowledge related to computer science and the language for it you will be understanding that there was a first c language then came your c++ then java then java advanced right then various web development technologies came right then machine learning came then you see artificial intelligence what is this this we are seeing is research and development being done and new and new languages that will enhance our procedure that will enhance our work has been launched with time correct and so that is the reason we we have to do research and development in various fields be it technical field be it any say food sector right be it any agriculture sector even if you see the crops are being researched upon where where we can uh, modify them genetically so that they can add to our environment correct so they can add to our particular location and give more yield right so we have to do research and development in various field be it defense sector also right to enhance our weapon system and come up with new weapon systems you can see the transformation on of our phones also right earlier it used to be a single screen touchpad for phone with your qwerty pad right now you are seeing the phones which are smartphones like all our touch phones and multiple technologies has been launched now friends let's go for a quick revision union cabinet has approved mumbai based nitie as the 21st iim of india and maharashtra became the first state in india to have two iims then gujarat government signed an mou with oneweb to set up india's first private satellite network portal site oneweb is organized which countries it is of uk then nabard's 42nd foundation day was observed on 12th of july Highlight of Defence Minister Rajnath Singh's of three-day visit to Malaysia, and during his visit, he unveiled the statue of Netaji Subhash Chandra Bose in Malaysia, Kuala Lumpur. Apart from this, uh, in if we talk about Rajnath Singh only, here he also inaugurated the regional offices of HAL in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. Then JNK Rural Livelihood Mission bagged Scotch Award under the State of Governance India 2047 in gold category. Moksha Roy, a seven-year-old Indian origin, has won the UK Prime Minister Points of Light Award. Then Rakesh Pal appointed as the 25th Director General of Indian Coast Guard. International Chess Day is observed on 20th of July. International Moon Day on 20th of July. Chhattisgarh's Chief Minister Bhupesh Baghel has launched Gramin Awas Nyay Yojana. So these are some important current affairs for 21st of July, friends. That will be benefiting in your preparation. Now let's move to some revision part such as Nivruti Rai has been appointed as Managing Director and Chief Executive Officer of Invest India. Then next Indian Grandmaster D. Gukesh has became the or so R. Pragnanda became the champion at the Super Grandmaster Chess Tournament that was held in Hungary. Next Ajay Banga he was the uh, he is the current 14th President of World Bank and he is the only Indian honorary that was named is the in the 2023 list of great immigrants. Next, Lieutenant General M. U. Nair has been appointed as the head of the National Cyber Security or Cyber Coordinator Center. Right, so he has been appointed as the new National Cyber Security Coordinator. Next, SpaceX has launched European Space Telescope ULSAT to explore the dark universe. That is to explore the nature and properties of dark energy and dark matter. Next, Red Bull driver Max Verstappen has won the Australian Grand Prix 2023. Correct? Then friends, these were your revision part. Now let's move to some homework questions. First, Nomadic Elephant. It is a military exercise that was held between India and which country? Next, where was the G20 finance ministers and central bank governors meeting held? Third, where was the regional conference on drugs, smuggling and national security held? So these are your three homework question friends and I want maximum to maximum participation of students in these homework questions 
and i'm seeing there are so many people who are watching our videos regularly but they are not commenting below so i want them also to comment below as these will be helping in your preparation so that's all for the day thank you and have a nice day that's all for the day friends i hope you enjoyed the session and you can follow us on the youtube channel as well as apart from youtube channel you can go and follow us at affairs cloud telegram channel and if you have any queries related to the content or the of courses offered to you or the payment which you did on the application you can contact us on the number provided that is 7677333862 apart from this friends you can follow us on the facebook as well as on instagram handle that is affairs cloud underscore official in the end friends if you use a code that is vikas10 you will be getting an additional extra 10% discount by using this code vikas10 also if you have any problem regarding the course purchase any problem regarding to our application you can contact us on the mobile number that is 9677333862 and if you want to mail us you can also mail us on support@affairscloud.com and i assure you that our representative from us will be contacting you soon and resolving your issue